Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Key lime pie, everyone's favorite dessert, at least it's mine. I searched long and hard for the best key lime pie recipe and I got one that I've modified slightly from a fireman in a firehouse in Southern Florida. About one and a half cups of graham cracker crumb, brown sugar, melted butter. I just pulsed this for 30 seconds in the microwave. Combine that. And at a certain point, you're gonna wanna get your hands in there. And as you can see, it kinda holds together. Depending on how big your pie tin is, makes enough for a few pies. And you want this, you know, you don't want it too thin, you don't want it too thick, but you do wanna make sure that your crust is stable. Any fan of this pie knows that the graham cracker crust is a big part of it. 10 minutes in a 325, 350 degree oven. You don't wanna make it too hot. You just don't wanna burn this. While that's baking, we can turn our attention to our filling. One and a quarter cups of key lime juice. These are key limes. For their size, they have a lot of juice. They have seeds. You can squeeze away to your heart's desire, and quite frankly, I think it's worth the time. One thing that you don't want to do, whether it's with a key lime or a Persian lime, is squeeze all the way. The last 10, 15% of the juice of a lime is bitter. Next thing we do is we add two cans of sweetened condensed milk. You may notice me getting in there with my spatula. I mean, this stuff is thick, it's like honey. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, separate your eggs. Super, super simple. Crack them, break them, and just use the shells and play patty cake until the white disappears. Now, do you notice I'm saving my whites? Maybe I wanna make meringue. You can freeze egg whites, by the way. There's nothing wrong with putting them in a little container or a Ziploc bag. You have lime juice, egg yolks, and the sweetened condensed milk. You really wanna make sure these are combined well. You can smell the crust. I mean, it just has that toasted graham cracker flavor. Yes, you're gonna get a little darkening on the edge. Don't worry, it won't burn when you bake the pie because you're gonna have all this moisture in there. So this is cool, it's still a little warm, not a big deal. And you can just pour this into the center, this custard, just up to the point, because it's not gonna really rise. And then we throw this into our preheated oven. All right, lower our temperature to 325. So we'll check it in 20 minutes. We'll give it a little jiggle test and I'll show you if the custard is set. Oh yeah, now look at this. Do you see? See how it's jiggling, but sort of set around the edges. We'll let this pie cool on the countertop for about 45 minutes to an hour and then just slide it into the fridge and let it cool. All right, pie is cooled. And I will tell you, this is not my culinary forte, pie slicing. But look at how clean that is. That's not me, that's the recipe. Pools of whipped cream on there to eat with the key lime pie. I mean, I just think it begs for a couple of zesty curls. Zesty curls, by the way, was the name of my blondie cover band in college. Those are for you, this is for me. It's the best key lime pie recipe ever.